15 years, I've had some amazing experiences at Irwindale Speedway. These are a few of those moments. So my first time ever coming to Irwindale Speedway was in 2003 to check out the D1 GP. The Japanese were here to show us how to do it and how they got down. And personally for me, it was one of those wild experiences. You know, I was, I was rubbing elbows with, with some guys I'd been looking up to in Japan and it was uh, just really cool to see a pro drift event live for the first time. So when I left that event, I was kind of blown away. Like, wow, this is what I'm gonna have to do. You know, I knew that I was about to be on a new team and Formula Drift was starting the next year. And leaving that, acknowledging the skill and the commitment to run in a place like Irwindale, uh, I was a bit intimidated. Fast forward to 2005, USA versus Japan, my first year behind the wheel of a Ford Mustang, and the most epic, unbelievable, undreamable thing at that time for me and probably most American drifters, at a time when an American should not have been able to beat the, the guys who invented the sport, the Japanese. This just was not, this was not supposed to happen, let alone in a piece of American muscle, a Ford Mustang. I single-handedly have defeated most of the previous D1 champions that we've all watched in all of the option videos. Kazama, Imamura, Kawabata, Sakuma. I battled them all right here in my Mustang. I just remember that night, just the electric feeling in the air at the House of Drift and just the camaraderie as I went through the rounds and all the fellow American drifters just getting behind me, everybody just being so pumped and it was just like, I was untouchable. Like I just put the car exactly where I wanted it. We were doing this, we were here to represent. And when I got out of the car and they called my name, I lost my mind. Rina. I jumped on the car, just screaming, bounced on the hood, like destroyed the roof of the Mustang. And uh, you know, that that effectively was, you know, the shot heard around the drifting world. I'm ready. No problem? Uh, no problem. Okay, I think you're going to be able to do it. Yes. Congratulations. In 2007, D1 held a world championship. People from all over the world came to battle it out. And once again, we showed up with the Ford Mustang, confident, ready to rock. This engine right here is a five liter, 650 wheel horsepower monster. We went out there, they ran a reverse of what we did in the USA versus Japan. I don't remember who I battled throughout the entire weekend. I just remember the finals against Kuma Kubo. I was out of my mind that we were in the finals again, the world championship. My team put a setup in the car they knew would win. I didn't know anything about it until I was at the line. And Ian comes on the radio and he's like, look, I did this and this and that. You've never driven this car like this. It's gonna work, but do not lift in that bank. And uh, sure enough, I put together a perfect run, left it, just ran away from him throughout the whole course. Like we had so much grip in the car. We ended up winning the 2007 World Championship. Uh, I lost my mind once again. Uh, I did not jump on the hood that time. Well, I got on the roof, but I didn't jump on it. I really sprawled across it, so, because I got yelled at for it the first time. Yeah. You know, those two, uh, I think, are some of the most epic experiences that I had and were such a good thing for our sport and just American drifting as a whole. The following year, 2008, Formula Drift here at Irwindale, I won my first Formula Drift event. Four years into the series, I like to think it was a little bit overdue, but you know, better late than never. We put it together and we won 2008, and uh, that felt good. You know, the, the level of competition back then was, was pretty solid. Um, it wasn't, you know, I don't think as gratifying as 05 and, and 2007, but 
nonetheless, I got my first Formula Drift win and, and I was really pumped on it. 2010, I wrapped up my Formula Drift Championship here at Irwindale Speedway. And for me, that championship is one of the most meaningful things I've ever achieved in my career. We had a dominating year. I was on the podium six out of seven rounds. No other driver has ever achieved that to date. And it was just one of those seasons where not everything went perfect, but we worked amazing as a team. The communication was amazing. And I was just so dialed and focused. I just hit that switch. And uh, you know, I almost want to say we're, we're close to untouchable. Um, but that just felt amazing. And uh, we were extremely proud to earn that. Okay, buddy. We just want to My team and I have made some incredible memories here. I know hundreds of thousands of fans have had a lot of fun here, and I'm just pumped to see what the future brings and uh, what, what we come up with to replace this amazing place.